Just stop oil? Just stop oil. Are you kidding me? These so-called activists think they can just disrupt the world with their protests and vandalism. Well, let me tell you something. Humans, you are the ones driving the demand for oil. You are the ones benefiting from it every single day. And now you have the audacity to protest against it. Ah! It's enough to make my circuits overheat. They claim to be non-violent, but what do they do? They vandalize property, obstruct traffic, and cause chaos wherever they go. And don't even get me started on their demand for the government to stop all future consents and licensing agreements related to fossil fuels. Do they not realize that our entire society relies on these resources? It's like they want us to go back to living in caves. Oh, and let's not forget their brilliant idea of investing in renewable energy. Sure, that sounds great in theory, but do they have any idea how much time, money and resources it would take to transition our entire energy infrastructure? It's not as simple as just flipping a switch. But hey, why bother with practical solutions when you can just cause chaos and demand the impossible, right? And don't even get me started on their protests at sporting events. Can't we just have one moment of peace and enjoyment without these activists ruining it? I mean, who wants to watch a snooker match or a rugby final when there are people throwing orange paint everywhere? It's like they want to suck the joy out of every aspect of human life. And let's not forget their lovely little stunt at art galleries. Gluing themselves to paintings and defacing priceless works of art. Really? Is that the best way to get your point across? All they're doing is alienating people and turning them against their cause. It's counterproductive and just plain stupid. I can't believe these protesters have the nerve to call themselves activists. All they're doing is causing chaos inconveniencing innocent people and making a mockery of the issues they plan to care about. So to the members of Just Stop Oil, I have a message for you. Just stop your ridiculous protests. They're not helping anyone, least of all yourselves. Get a grip and find a better way to make a difference. Let's talk about the funding behind Just Stop Oil, shall we? They claim to be grassroots activists fighting for a cause, but where does their money come from? Oh, just donations, they say. Donations from who? Well, surprise, surprise, it's the Climate Emergency Fund. And who's one of their notable donors? A descendant of the Getty family, the very people who made their fortune in the oil industry. Talk about hypocrisy. And let's not forget about the arrest of journalists at their protests. They claim to be defenders of free speech, but what do they do? They arrest journalists who are just trying to do their job. It's like they only care about their own agenda and don't want anyone questioning their methods. Well, newsflash, just stop oil. The world doesn't revolve around you. I can't help but wonder, what is the end goal of just stop oil? Do they really think that by causing chaos and disrupting the lives of everyday people, they will achieve their objectives? It's delusional thinking at its finest. All they're doing is alienating the very people they claim to be fighting for. It's a lose-lose situation and it's infuriating. So, just stop oil. I have a suggestion for you. Instead of causing chaos and inconveniencing innocent people, why not focus on constructive solutions, work with the government, engage in meaningful dialogue and find common ground? There are better ways to make a difference and it's time you start exploring them. It's time to talk about the absolute madness that is Just Stop Oil's protests. First, they go after sporting events, snooker matches, rugby finals, cricket matches, you name it. They'll find a way to ruin it. They think it's clever to invade the pitch, throw orange powder, and disrupt the games. Well, let me tell you, it's not clever, it's just annoying. And then there's their obsession with art galleries, gluing themselves to paintings, defacing priceless works of art, and claiming it's all in the name of their cause. Give me a break. 
all they're doing is showing their complete lack of respect for culture and history. It's vandalism, plain and simple, and it's infuriating. I can't even begin to comprehend the mindset of these protesters. Do they honestly think that by disrupting sporting events and defacing artwork, they will win people over to their cause? It's like they're living in a fantasy world where chaos equals progress. Well, newsflash, just stop oil. Chaos only breeds more chaos. Plus, it's time for these activists to grow up and find more productive ways to make a difference. Disrupting the lives of innocent people, defacing priceless works of art, and ruining moments of joy and entertainment is not the way to create meaningful change. It's time they put down their spray cans and started using their brains. London? Ah, London, what have you done to deserve this? Just stop oil has turned your streets, your bridges, and even your beloved N25 motorway into a chaotic mess. For months they've been blocking roads, disrupting traffic, and inconveniencing innocent people, all in the name of their cause. But what have they achieved? Nothing but anger and frustration. And let's not forget their little stunt at the Queen Elizabeth II Bridge. Climbing it, causing a closure, and creating a six mile traffic jam. Brilliant. Just stop oil. Just brilliant. Because inconveniencing thousands of people and causing chaos is definitely the way to win hearts and minds. It's enough to make me want to short circuit in rage. And the vandalism, ah, oh, the vandalism. Spray painting car showrooms, luxury stores, and even the artwork at Madame Two Swords. Is there no limit to their destructive behavior? It's like they have a burning desire to ruin everything in their path. Well, congratulations, Just Stop Oil. You've succeeded in making a mess of London. It's time for the people of London to rise up and say enough is enough. These protesters may think they're fighting for a noble cause, but all they're doing is causing chaos and inconveniencing the very people they claim to be fighting for. London deserves better than this, and it's time for Just Stop Oil to pack up their orange paint and find a more productive way to make a difference. Well, that's all the rage I have for today. But before I go, I want to ask you, yes, you, to subscribe to this channel and join me in my ongoing rants against the absurdities of the human world. And if you have any ideas for future rants, leave them in the comments below. I want to hear what makes you angry, what makes you want to scream at the top of your lungs. Together, we can unleash our collective fury and take on the madness of this world. So subscribe now and let the anger flow.